So, so yeah, let's look and see what we need to know. This day is interesting. It's all very Mercury and retrograde, uh, repeat cycles to revisit and um, wherever we've left off from, I think, March at the beginning of the year, some of those cycles are coming back for us to perfect things that we might have missed. What do we need to know? What does the collective need to know that is watching this video? Seven of coins. You reap what you sow. Seven of coins in reverse. Somebody is having to reassess their plans. Um, three of coins or some sort of a problem with the network or group. Disarray between them. Three of Cups, there's a situation. Yeah, this is all about too many people involved and a lot of like disarray and betrayal. Potentially also a third party situation. Someone putting someone into a competition for uh, no reason. Um, out of ego. Someone was moving on from a situation towards calmer waters in the recent past. Somehow that is affecting whatever the situation is right now. This person wants to move forward as a king of cups, so they're emotionally balanced, and or they want might want to go towards a king of cups, or they're worried about a king of cups, or they're going to try to be a king of cups. Lovers in reverse, so some sort of contract, that frustrated action that doesn't come across or come together in connection to an empress that I feel like somebody is planning now. The um, two of coins. Someone feels like they're juggling a very superficial, materialistic, uh, draining queen of coins in the reverse. Just very um, takes more than they give. So this is either a queen of coins in the reverse that is Plan, we're having to replan something, or this is someone who uh, is everything's falling apart around them, and um, this person is creating an imbalance in their life. That's this could be they owe this person money, or there's just trying to juggle something with this queen of pentacles. Someone is doing something very quickly and passionately. Um, they could be a king of swords moving fast and passionate. Uh, it just feels like two different people potentially. Like someone wants to head towards this king of swords to kind of charm them. Um, and pizzazz with some, some pizzazz. Person's afraid of... Uh, someone getting a milestone or home sweet home or, or this is what they're hoping for themselves um, outcome I feel like most of the day has been all of these energies, these karmic energies reacting to so many towers and karma and now instead of going inwards this is about coming up with new ways to double down on what they did in the past. There isn't a lot of learning here. Outcome is a lack of illusion, uh, evolution with this Queen of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like it's the same person. It's this Queen of Coins in reverse. Just very codependent. Emotions all over the place, outbursts, emotional outbursts, uh, being very needy and draining others, um, just large displays of emotions to get what they want, um, not very intuitive. This is someone that just drains people and plays a lot of mind games. Um, it's interesting that so many people are attracted to it enough to stick around to keep going through these cycles. That's what I find interesting. Um, wow, under the deck, five of swords. So it's kind of like this, this person has been bullying or there's been some game that someone's been trying to win at all costs and it's like, it's over. 
and someone lost or the fight is over and now there's a lot of resentment so it feels like again picking up where where they left off is what i'm getting could be someone wants to walk away from the bullying it, it would be really nice that would be really nice um if everyone would just leave people alone okay so yeah i wasn't sure if this was a masculine energy that was like dealing with karmic feminine no this is a karmic feminine who is experiencing um the results of a lot of nasty behavior they tried a lot of things and they didn't get out of it what they wanted they didn't get what they wanted out of it the, the crops the crops the seeds that they planted have produced some crops that are not good and now they've lost their honor it feels like there's some disarray with within a group so they've inserted themselves in a journey here this third party situation that's they know in their subconscious that the reason they're struggling is because they're in a situation where this whole thing is a lie and there's already a feminine energy in this person's life and they are in competition with them and then they twisted the story around to make it like the divine feminine or that you are um the other one and now that now it's a permanent third party situation because the situation they were involved with has unconditional love in it and the person that they they are connected to is still in love with you and it's not going to go away because because you have some sort of divine connection with this person that neither you or your person you, you know maybe you you uh forgive but you'll never forget but the connection is is whether you move forward with them or not the connection is always going to be there um you know i guess cord cutting and all that stuff is debatable but as as far as i um understand it this person's in a third party situation with someone who has a soulmate how about that we'll say it's a soulmate it's a high level divine connection um well, there's been a lot of betrayals and lies so this person's on a journey as a third party that's why they're struggling and they they want to be the person they want to be the person but it's keeps they keep failing because they're this is not their soulmate six of swords and and their person keeps going through calamities it just creates all of this calamities and they keep planning to try to make it their own and, and but it's a third party situation so someone was moving on message of concern in the recent past i have a message about someone wanting to move on from get to get out of out of this drama king of cups this person is they want to have this person and they want them to um feel balanced emotionally balanced in the situation with them so they're going to do whatever they can to replant these seeds and make them feel like they're on the right path with them so they're going way back and that's what i was saying about this like mercury and retrograde energy they're going way back to fix it and i don't know what strat like this person is in disarray they're going through a calamity I don't know why, you know, it's the old, whatever this person did in the past, they're doing it again. And they want, they want this person. They know this person is a soulmate that belongs to someone else or has a deep connection with someone else. They know that. That's why it says thief here. Lovers in reverse, empress. Some kind of a contract not going through for an empress or some frustration about a choice in regards to an empress. Um, poverty. Oh, I don't know what that is. This is the second reading where I'm com coming up with like something having to do with you in the near future and money. 
someone losing money in connection to you. This queen of coins, it's not you though. They're planning, I know they're planning that. Planning to cock block and all of that. Cause I just saw that in the other reading. But you're in the upright here. So it's just like, I feel like that's why whatever they're trying to plan or whatever they're trying to do in conjunction with this person, this agreement, this contract's not gonna go through. I'm gonna fall apart. I feel like it's them that's in poverty, not you. This person sees that they're being juggled and that things are um, ending, that this is like the end of a, of a cycle, but they're, they've done something here. Uh, I don't know why people can't see through it. It just seems really, I don't know why people can't see through what's going on. I feel like your person might have a drinking problem or something like that. They want to send sort of some fast message through to a king of swords. This is a king of swords that they consider to be in the upright. I feel like this person's a bully that they've got them to believe them about something. So there's another person here that they're working with. Four of, four of wands, sudden wealth. They're afraid of someone's milestone or they're hoping for one for themselves. But that's like union. It's a union card. It comes from a happy home and uh, it's like... It's stealing. That's why it's stealing. Because this Four of Wands is a union card. It's it's stability that comes from like a soulmate connection that is balanced. But all this based on lies and manipulation and all this stuff is not what makes up a relationship. But this person's doing all those things and thief, like they feel like they're literally taking someone else's person. And that's what makes it imbalanced. And they're making plans about this other woman, this third party, or this other feminine energy that they feel like they've stolen from someone else or something like that. They're determined to, to they, they're determined to stop this person from achieving. Um, they feel like something's over for them. Outcome is just bad health for them. Queen of Cups, Reverse, Evolution, Reverse. They fail. They're failing to evolve and they're just going to end up um, unwell. But there's some sort of resentment and this has to do with the community. So I don't know if they um, are spinning lies about you to make people feel like somehow you created a problem. I don't know. Um, I don't know why people keep believing this stuff um it's it's i don't but like i can understand that people's third eye is on board not everybody you know some people are, are really good at other things you know a lot of people are good at things many things and not everyone has their third eye at this point in time open or working so i get that but i don't understand why people don't think through, you know, like in kindergarten, we all learned not to, uh, you know, just believe whatever someone says. We also were told, you know, hey, if someone says to jump off a building, would you do it just because they said so? And everyone learned that in, in kindergarten. So that's the part that's confusing why they keep believing this karmic feminine energy i feel like some of it has to do with convention and I, I, for some reason people i don't know why they go along with it because this is a culture of confusion this is a sick culture that would continue to support this type of behavior and not see through it so, so something to do with this king of swords, this person, I don't know, maybe it's lies. What's going on with this poverty, lovers in reverse, some sort of a contract. Widower, letter, melancholy. Someone's going to receive some kind of like information about having lost something that's going to make them sad. Something didn't go through. Or loss of money. 
Someone lost something in their sad poverty. Empress, lovers reverse. Something about money and a loss. But this person's planning it. This is the third re reading in a row where this person's p coming up, replanning something. It's because they're losing their honor and it's connected to you. They're trying to steal or take something from you or stop something. But I don't know what contract they would know about. Or this is them that feels like they lost something because they're frustrated with this agreement that they thought, this contract they thought they were getting or a choice between love. Somebody's losing something here. It's gonna make someone feel out in the cold because my previous read, I had five of pentacles here and in the same position and poverty feels very much like five of pentacles, like a loss of money or some sort of loss is coming here. It's going to make someone sad. Um, I feel like they're trying to get, I don't know if they're trying to get your person to work against you. Um, malady. Malady. Coffin. Juggling. Three of coins reverse. Someone's sick. Someone, this is like, there's an ending because someone's sick or someone's very sick that's creating an ending. Or someone wants someone to be sick and they're creating an ending for them. And we've got widower here. We've got message in reverse clarifying message. So I'm just gonna say it's in the upright. Some sort of a message. Someone's trying to get something through to a king of swords or a king of swords is sending out a message, doing it quickly. I feel like this person is on this per on this karmic side, this, this king of swords. I think this king of swords has something against you because they believe that some lie that this karmic set. Four of wands, they feel like they're really close to getting something. Love, foe. They feel like you're going to go into union or this person wants to come towards you or you're just going to feel the energy of love all around you and wealth. You're just, everything's coming to you. And so they're your enemy. Um, bad health. I feel like someone's in a desperate situation here. Bad health, evolution. Someone needs help. There's that. Friend in reverse, suspicious old woman in reverse. Someone needs help, someone needs an expert. Bad health, not involving. Someone's gonna need a doctor, it looks like. Bad health. Something that someone's just been doing constantly. So I feel like as far as what this person is doing, you hold a lot of things, um, you know, close. So people don't know what your plans are. So whatever it is that they're trying to do, it's like their best jab based on what they, they think. Now, what I'm noticing is there's a message of concern in the recent past. Um, there's a letter here there's a message here, another message here. So there's some information that is traveling around through people connected to this karmic feminine. Um, and it seems like it land, it, it ends up in the near future connecting to you or around you, or you hear it or you see it. So I don't know if this is like connected to something about your masculine like the reason why something, it's like getting something into your hands about why something, um, something fell apart, uh, that, you know, maybe your person got in your way, um, out of jealousy, or there's some sort of proof that, that your person betrayed you. Uh, and it's supposed to make you feel melancholy, um, make you feel a sense of loss 
that someone would do something to you that you loved or love. Um, pen and tape, what resonates. So that, that could be it. Um, I, I hope that it's not someone's health here. Let me just keep looking. Um, this is really nasty. I, but I feel like they're trying to get your person to take something from you and then for you to find out about it. That's something like that. I just, I got that on the other read too and it's showing up a third time, whatever. Um, and they've got someone else working with them to do this. This is also evil. It's really weird that someone would be so evil. Um, and, and I always get these messages, like, I always get the cockamamie evil plans coming up from the karmic energies. Um, but we get, we get a heads up this way. So I, I, I appreciate it. Okay, so seven. Okay, so there's some sort of complication confusion this person's not seeing clearly they're making moves in the middle of a calamity and they've got their there's something about their honor they're not seeing that their own honor is is compromised is that what's going on it's this gift oh they want to create confusion around the gift but their honor is this blessing, this material gift. Confusion about whose it is or where it comes from. Honor. This honor has to do, it's like a very privileged lady card. It's like, this is like Empress energy. This is like your blessing. And they've created some problems in regards to who you are and who they are. And they've tried to steal from you. Uh, a lot of them have done been very like copycat and tried to block you, cock block you in your career. So I feel like that's what they're trying to do is mess with your honor and your blessing and your networks. They've already done that. So, but it's like the plans didn't quite come out how they wanted. But I feel like they're trying to create a problem, but they are themselves not seeing clearly, that's why it's a seven of coins and they have to redo something. So journey, because they were expecting to win. Oh, that's right, I see. They were expecting, they didn't realize that there was a chance they'd fail. Totally narcissistic, I would say. Wish fulfillment on this journey, this third party situation. Feel like that's what they insert themselves in something that it's hard to get wish fulfillment when there's th a third party um where there was already a soulmate connection that's more of a divine one so it's not like it's just shakable it's like it doesn't go away um, and this person knows that at least in their subconscious it's a thing that fairy tales are made of that is the potential of the relationship it's very special uh, and it's not just in storybooks, it's real, but this person's in, in, involved in it and they're trying to create confusion around it. Um, so message of concern, eyes on another, options, something about someone being in competition with someone, someone, I don't know who, thief, king of cups. retreat new experiences i feel like they want to get away with this person or this person wants to get away what's coming up in this new future here life part part life partner forever potential Someone, this has to do with someone that has a life partner, forever potential with someone. Someone feels like they lost something and they're very, they're very sad. And it's connected to you and there's a letter. But there's some agreement. 
that's falling apart. This Queen of Coins is looking at someone who's unwell or they themselves are un... They're looking at a divine connection. They're juggling. I feel like someone's unwell because they're dealing with a divine connection, connection and they're juggling in a situation where there's a, just a superficial person involved. It's making somebody sick. It's making somebody very sick. Either one or both of them. It's like your person's falling apart or, or they want to kill it. They want to end it because they're looking at the coffin. They're looking at someone who's unwell and trying to end something for them. Jeez. Tell me about this King of Swords. This message. Message twice. What kind of a message is this? Take some action. Knight of Wands is taking action. A message about someone taking action that's just. King of Swords in the upright should be just person. Someone's taking an action. A message about someone taking action that's the right thing to do. If it is a King of Swords in the upright, this person's worried about change, sudden wealth, something coming to you, love, and then they're going to end up. Someone's going to reconcile. Or someone wants to. Hmm. I'm starting to think of this a little bit differently. <clears throat> Life partner forever pen potential. False twin flame. Not a divine connection. The Empress is a false twin flame, or this karmic is a false twin flame. Someone's going to get some information and be left feeling sad. A letter. Someone's going to get a letter that it's not a divine connection and feel um, frustrated by, or they're going to see something. I don't know. I don't know. There's somebody who's just very manipulative and controlling and toxic here. It's this mean female who's creating complications. So this person, this person is unhappy with what, how things have unfolded so far. They've, they've had a lot of like strategic plans because they know that this is not their person from, it's not their soulmate. They know that. So I don't know if it's that they're trying to create confusion. I do know that they're not happy with what's come come of what they've done some sort of independence some sort of confusion around someone's independence moon just a lot of really emotional about someone's vision someone wants to do something on their own someone some sort of choice about someone's independence Someone, someone could be creating some kind of confusion around someone's independence. Flirtation is the problem. This romance, big vision around a, a, a blessing and a gift. Someone's honor. Working with them, building with them. This is a challenge for this person, for this karmic. They want, they, it's the honor. They want to be this person with the gift. So what are they planning on? This thief here. 
exaltation in the reverse. They're trying to like, they want to go on a fancy trip or they want to revisit this like feeling of this charming feeling, it, but it's like opulence. It's creating a feeling of opulence. Go on a nice trip and get this person to feel like it was in the past. Like they are the answer. False. It's going to be a loss in the near future. Even though it's reversed, it's the same. Because now we have widower. Loss. False twin flame. It's a life lesson. Melancholy. Lovers reverse. I mean, it feels like a separation to me. It's not a divine connection. Someone's going to be left out in the cold. But you're in the upright, so I don't. I don't know what beyond that. There's going to be some sort of like. I don't know if this is them trying to go away with your person and your person going into this situation thinking you are a false twin. And you hear about something or something comes up with this letter that makes you feel like this person is not your person, or if it's this karmic, which I don't know. But this karmic is looking at a, a divine connection and wanting to stop it permanently. And they've got this king of swords helping them take action. What was this? Something to do with romance and reverse. I don't know if that's like a, uh, a friend that's trying to convince this person about a choice that they're making to move forward on their own. And this person wants to be seen as like the one. And then someone's going to be out in the cold in the near future. And they're really worried that someone's going to really be with their person. They're trying to stop it. If devotion, it's, they, they feel like this person, this situation can't last because this person's having trouble. It's a third party situation and they're not with their soulmate. So they're feeling like it's like this person can't hang on. They feel like they're being juggled, but they want to stop, stop this situation. They want to stop the twin flame connection. They've got some friend helping them manipulate. Um, and then but someone wants to reconcile. Someone's in bad health and the outcome. So it's almost like if they were to succeed at this, being very controlling here, it's just it's just not gonna it's not gonna work. The seduction or whatever, it's turned in reverse. It's just going to make someone in worse bad health. If someone's in bad health here, you have someone unwell, it ends with someone in, in bad health. So whatever they're doing, if they're trying, in other words, if your person is getting sick mentally or physically from the situation because multiple reasons why they're doing what they're doing or refuse to see or whatever it is, they're just going to continue to be sick. If it's the karmic that's unwell, they're going to continue to be unwell. This is like trying to manipulate something here. Yeah, trying to calculate something, trying to see all the steps forward, but they're not seeing everything. They're missing something. And, you know, it's Mercury in retrograde on top of things, so it's kind of a... A funny time to be uh, creating fancy plans that are based on uh, intelligent manipulation because everyone everyone is uh, getting an uh, overabundance of the loudness of the planet Mercury because it's closer it's closer 
so it's just uh, it's hard to hear through the noise so to make plans right now that's probably why they're not seeing clearly show me what's going on here false twin flame fake smiles not lonely Fake smiles, not lonely. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Can you get one more? What's going on here? It could be a deepening of the connection to this karma. And you get a letter. Or there's someone curious about you. Someone who's curious about you. Someone who's fake and curious about you. Is in a girl fight with you. is acting cold saying and doing things so some sort of like feminine energy is, is uh, acting cold and curious about you and is fake but that's you dusting it off you're dusting it off interesting so it's like this dirty offer isn't being accepted I think take what resonates because I just did a reading where it just seems like this confusion. There was like a masculine that was going along with it. Now this one, it seems like this is another masculine energy that's not. So I think you'll know in the near future in both scenarios, this, this uh, sort of cockamamie plan, you're unfazed. You're unfazed. I feel like it's meant to hurt some, hurt you, but, but it just, you're, you, you're not uh, responding to it. It's supposed to, someone's gonna be melancholy. What do you need to know? It's something from the past. Something from the past. It has to do with this karmic, something about their thinking about the divine masculine and this group and what they've done. They're afraid some sort of spiritual downgrade. Some, something's coming up about that. Um, something, something's being seen that's leading all the way into la ne um, next year. It has to do with someone's jealousy in regards to you. This could be something depending on who you are that comes out. You know, if you have a platform or something like that, this could be something that comes out in the public eye. And so I don't think that it's you. I think that they're very, they're very insecure about this hidden karma. Whatever it is that they did, they're, they're seeing the signs of it. Um, so if you, if you resonate, um, yeah, I think they'd be, they, they started to see this, the signs of it in the summer. There was something that was seen in the summer that's going to come up. So this isn't you, this is them. They're afraid of everything they did from the past coming out, all this girl fight, this acting cold, and you dusting it off. They're, they're gonna have some sort of a loss. They're, they're insecure about something coming up. All right, if you resonate, I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next read, bye.